So, um, just an old Milwaukee down there. That is one of the things that's still around outside. Oh yeah, Becky uh, spray painted my car. Um, you know, I let her. <laughs> she was having fun. She spray painted my car. Um, she pr spray painted her shoes right here. Right here, you can't see in the light. Maybe a little bit. You can see where my boots were spray painted. Um, in the first days that we were really re becoming friends, um, because in the first days before that, I wasn't really sure of what she was up to. Let's just put it that way. One more putters. One more putters for the road. I'm gonna save the rest of this, I think. I like to ash out on the bottom of that jar there. Let's see what else is out here. Okay, we've got the crocodile head from Melwell. First came over is out here as well. Then we don't have to look far to see see your name right between those letters from me to her these nails are painted with a purple that I bought for her when I went to uh, pick up my keyboard that I don't have my parents have a uh, Smith Corona that they gave me, a keyboard that happened to be in the basement. Just how the magic of life works. <clears throat> if we move over here, we can see some silver spray paint that's still left here. Some silver toes on the money that dropped the day that on our first little date or whatever you want to call it <laughs> when we went to um the place together um that tape cassette that's over there hanging on the chair um this was where i hung her keys i wanted to show that um when she was drinking that i started wearing the keys on here this is I was thinking that I would go to Amber's place and rent out that's a thing that I got when whatever this bread machine I bought because uh we wanted to make pizza together, so I learned how to make pizza dough when I was retraining myself to cook um, the the salt lamp is here now. It doesn't work anymore. The cat's there. Hi, bud. There's her jam. There's the machine that I use to make smoothies 
before. And these are the dishes that she helped me make clean and dirty before that. Hi, buddy. Oh, and this is the bag. And this is some things that I wanted her to do on the list, including getting that phone workable. Hello, do. This is the room that she was allowed to drink in that's kind of a mess right now. So I'm trying to clean stuff from back out, uh, out here. That's one of the things that we bought. That's another one of the things that she bought, the vase thing. There's another big one there. This I made as a note because I want to I wanna buy... Um, strings, not just for her violin. This is the little timer that she used to do the thing. This is the lamp that I stole from my parents' house and the shade that was in her storage that we put on the shelf to make her house a home when like this place is a mess right now but it's just everything's in piles because we were moving essentially this is the lock that i brought for her to make sure that the people upstairs didn't go into her place anymore this is my grandmother's thing that i brought over to her house hi buddy This is the shirt that I made for her, and just like my friend who cut my pants onto my body as a sign of trust that far into our relationship, she knew I was just happened to be holding something and made her a nice shirt. So that's there to remind me. This room we drew on the walls when my last roommate Burke was here she wrote Berkey here and um, I spray painted the walls after Burke left and whatever and then this is the lamp that she drew on and that I made into like a cool and this is the glass that my friend was gonna cut my throat with so I put it on there because it's illuminating in a new way and I used this is the bathroom that I spray paint that's my symbol this is the thing that I wrote because I wanted there to be members the there's those who were a part of the original ally no lie alliance of honesty it is the ssc no civ action ideals i don't know what all this says patience control words tone safety prior to all care selves of the other first watch for patients um, of for son of uh, h oh yeah h h fan h what does this say of any and all members of the secret shadows oh yeah so like i wrote that's not what it's called but um or whatever it can be called the secret shadows this is the um after we 
danced in the kitchen. Had a little bit of a tango, so this is. It's hard to see, but that's. There are people there. That's people dancing. <laughs> and that's my symbol again. I'm. Uh... What did I put on there? Yeah, so I needed to freshen up. And this is what she wrote on the wall and I was asked her about that but I guess that's a Twitter thing I was a little bit worried about that after um, people said that something was weird these glasses all fell down the day after I told her friends and stuff um, there's a bunch of stuff that fell. It's really sad, actually. This is the new thing that I wore around my body to hold my wallet in a place that was hard to get to. Um, after I talked to the guy at the East African or whatever, these are the lights that I put up in her apartment um, at the door to her apartment when we were whatever um, whatever you call it modeling the apartment um, that's the Marilyn Monroe 3D kind of cool thing that I got her and this was the mirror that was in the storage room that I grabbed like I figured she could grab her um, bathroom mirror but I grabbed it because I wasn't sure what was going on with her parents stuff and whatever and then I saved that for my house so like as far as I'm concerned that's my mirror um, not to add up all the costs and whatever else but if uh, she's getting a restraining order against me or whatever that's cool that's a dolphin sort of a joke or my friend Luigi. These is the pack of putters that um, my friend's dad gave to me um, that had one more cigarette in there. And I was like, ooh, a cigarette. That's what you saw me smoking. <clears throat> um, this is one of the skull heads that I bought um, for the bong that I bought for her because her I she didn't want to be going to her friend's place anymore. She wanted to start cutting this friend out from her life, and she went over there for the bong a lot. And so um, she actually saw this, but I saw that there were some cool bongs in that magic store where we um, found the engagement earrings and whatever we joked about that I was pretty serious about because I want to be full in in the relationship that I'm in that's like it is like a marriage it's every day's hi buddy oh this is the bottle that she drank in Christmas time um, that was like kind of hard for me to get over because it was the um, my brother anyways hi bud um, this is the bottle that she nailed the first time this is like a joint and Bible paper and that's the transfer that she used when she Used the transit by herself all the way from way on the other side of town um, and went to the store and bought her cardigan. This is um, when I met Jack the first day and um, she left me downtown and I was like, okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna hang out and like try and be me. And I got some coffee and all right, yeah, I did get coffee. I left the five dollars there too after they rushed me out 
So that's an example of me leaving a store if I'm not comfortable in there. If people talk to me, like, it's like, I've ordered stuff before and people are like, they'll be like, what do you want? I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. You have fun wondering why I didn't spend money in your place. Oh, this is the Ten Commandments thing that, like, she didn't like reading. It says, stop and think before you drink, then don't. This is the, this is the thing that I wore on my person on uh, Christmas, whatever. There's something behind here, I think, too. Oh, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna tie, um, some, uh, yeah, so, like, that's the thing. It's, like, I could go around and say Burke things, too. This is, this is the thing that I got the night that her father may or may not have pushed me down some stairs um, and broke her door going into her apartment that is legally her apartment that, like, if they are worried about whatever, that is something to be worried about because an entire year after you kick someone out like that they can they can take you shouldn't have friggin thrown your daughter out man that was not a good thing for your relationship and like i'm sorry but like i i'm not gonna continue being a scapegoat this is the cool thing that i'm putting my head on that helps me ground myself that I got for $24 and whatever cents plus tax at the Hasty Market, which is somewhere that we went. And um, on that day, I did not go out of my way to show her the meat, even though I was like, she wants meat. But I didn't walk her over there. I didn't take Matt's future advice of take the lead. And boy, is that good advice. That is really good advice. And I need to remember that for when I have friends that are in, like, when you're in a better state, it's easier to take the lead and to just do the thing instead of like, hey, is it cool if we, what do you feel about this? It's like, it's because it's a lot. Like, it's like, ah, whatever, like, sure, meat. This is the stick that I brought home on um, some night that, uh, oh, what was that? It was some night before Rebounce or something. Um, this is me tripping on a wire. Oh, that's her charger, actually. I mean, her end of the charger thing and then I've got another charger that I bought that my dad bought that I sent money for him this mirror is totally different everything's different it fell down she took it down for whatever oh yeah there's a photo there of her in there um, these lights are different now that she has gone so that's edited after that. This broom was up there in a different way. Um, her phone was up there, the phone that I started using after the fact um, as a sign of trust after it was in, uh, under the trust tower of VHS. I, mo I moved it and put it up there and like was using that as uh building of trust thing like i even moved the thing and put it somewhere else and you um didn't care so now the broom is the other way and the pipe is so it's um and i've got my old um yeah like actually looking around i'm sure there's so much stuff that like this this I hung up. That all fell down um, recently. Um, but it's okay. It's, things are more open. This this fell and that got moved. 
this is a new string altogether. This this was from the place that we go to all the time, the Sasha. Um, that was funny, like the cab driver. Um, like he knew Sasha. He was the guy that like makes the meat that I like and everything. And it's like, oh yeah, this is all new. That was I used that to hang her purse off of and stuff like that. I took that, that's that's new, and put the physics book there. All this toilet paper is like from around that time. Um, so that was like a big thing, like that was even when we would drive, like this hat was up on the dash, and then I had brought like toilet paper and ran, like I just made a dash that was um, to let us feel at home or whatever. And, a car that wasn't either of ours. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. And like, and it's, it's personal. I guess my, uh, the point that I'm trying to make is like, people, whether we agree or not, like these scarves, I wore the, uh, even more scarves than this, but, um, that was all around that time. This watch is still doing a timer, I guess. 3824. <laughs> um, yeah, this coffee is like new coffee that's not Burke's coffee because she, she liked me making coffee. I've got the instant coffee. There, there's the pot there that I moved right into the room so we could make tea, like, whenever, because that was a recommendation from my friend, like, make sure, and there's, like, for sure, yeah, there's a tea right there, there's tea out there, I was always trying to, like, make different things to drink, so that she had lots of options to fill her bladder with, um, Yeah, so whatever. Peace out. I'm always going to be your friend. So, see these nails? These are your purple combined combined different sparkly things and fun things. Just like the toes. Our first friendship action after the day that we soul bonded on the stairs. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and I don't even want to tell you what's on those pages. I've switched these pages, but there was something seemingly provocative that reminded me of her. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm trying to practice, like, um, attachment with unattachment, um, because, uh, I used to become very hurt by things. Oh, this is a, that's the, that's the R that I made for the Rebecca R. The flag. Yeah. And like all these hats are new from that time. Um, they're uh, from my parents' place. Here's the instant coffee. There's another one in the other room that I put into my backpack because I was bringing it to James. <laughs> my my tenants were like... I saw one of my tenants. I shouldn't say all of my tenants, but it's just one of my tenants. One of my tenants. Um, all right. Oh yeah, this ring. I knew that our time together was going to be short because I was essentially a surrogate partner. 
Um, and uh, you can look that up, what that means, but um, I was practicing uh, essentially like feeling safe with people, but um, yeah, it's just like at a certain point people are taking advantage of your kindness or whatever you want to call it. Um, and um, I, I asked for space too, like I, it was clear that but she didn't have a home either. She got sent back. Her father sent her back. So there's only certain certain number of rules that I don't have a lot of rules. And when I do make a rule, I let people fuck with it a little bit because I get it. I don't make rules either. <laughs> but like you don't have to push people and like physically speaking too like when it seems like I'm in your way too and I like step aside and move my body you don't have to you know like or just walk around me or I don't know it's like that was really annoying. That was a really frustrating thing for, like, if I was standing up and I was also moving in the same direction, she would always want to be, like, faster than me. So it was like, I was like, I have to, like, run out of the way to, I'm like, oh, oops, we're both heading in the same direction. That was weird. We stood up at the same time, synchronicity. But I tried not to let that stuff bother me. It was just like, just sometimes, though, I'd be like, yo, do you mind, like, not fucking pushing me? Like, and then I don't know. It's like, is that, is that good? Or is that, like, am I feeding into something? That's always, like, in my brain, I'm like, fuck, did I just... And it's like, wait, no, like, because people have to learn, too. Like, people evolve and grow, and, like, some of their traits can be... Uh, a bit obnoxious or annoying for other people too and like I want what's best for my friend and what's best for my friend is for them to realize some of these things too just like I wish that I I wish that people would have pointed out some of the things that that ended up losing some of my friendships when everybody's talking about you about stuff and then it's like oh yeah we agree and then like no one actually talks to you That's weird. Or it's like, you know, she would talk about this stuff where it was like, she's a, she's a, an alligator right under the surface of whatever. And it's like, okay, well, like, you've like literally threatened my life. I don't know how many times. You've like dragged me through my house. I have cuts like on my back still. Um, there's shit broken all over the place, which is fine, because, like, I even told her after, in, like, a text at some point, that, like, it's okay, don't, don't be, I think even when she was still in the park, and the police were still outside, like, watching her in the park before my dad picked her up and drove her home, um, and yeah, I'm gonna talk about my life. I'm sorry, but like at a certain point, this is this is this is my life. I'm allowed to talk about it and like really getting sick about that kind of shit, where people are like think that their their life is like the most private thing on earth, and like no one would ever. It's like no, man, you don't get to have it every single way. You don't. You don't get to threaten me and whatever else, and I don't get to to speak on on that. That if there is whatever, there's huge amounts of evidence that I cared very deeply for you. And that I did 
more than like probably anyone would have in my situation to make sure that like things were cool but you can't you can't go around controlling everybody and then talk about how you don't like control like it's you can't have it both ways it's okay to to relinquish some amount of control to other people that's kind of what love is isn't it living beyond your own perception listening to other people knowing that Matt is having a rough time with his situation for example it's like oh my friend Matt who doesn't talk a lot these are a few tidbits that I picked up but like we don't need to talk about them I let them come up when they come up if I talk about some of my stuff with whatever then they might say oh well the floor is open to talk about some of that stuff maybe he might want to take a drive with me because I want to go somewhere and meet a friend and like I don't know if I'm going to be able to say hi all the way so like if if I can say hi all the way then he can drive the thing home and if not then whatever he might be down for it i think that people like company sometimes like that so it might be a nice way to bond and have a deeper friendship at our beginning stages of our friendship so and he was there when uh she was leaving so and um he's got the same birthday as cam's sister so it's kind of like a neat connection um and then Lindsay is his sister's name, and Lindsay was one of my last roommates before uh, Bert came in, so she was like the last real person that was staying in that place before my last roommate that I was going to do all that coffee stuff with, and he helped me out with like the comedy stuff and getting the computer in the house and whatever, but it's like everything just came short because we didn't both... Like, I needed to take Matt's future advice of, like, taking the lead all the time with this stuff, but it's really tiring to do this stuff all on your own and then be like, do they notice that I'm doing it? Am I, like, at a certain point, people, it's just like they can't just be living inside of their own bubble all the time. It's... That's, that is, like, gotta be the worst thing for humanity, or people that ignore other people. So, whatever. You're welcome for all this stuff, by the way. And, um, thank you for allowing me the time to stand up for myself, because I do have at least one friend out there, and... having a kind friend that knows you well speak to your strong suits and even just letting you know a few simple words um, can help a great deal so yeah not fuck other people and ignore other people how about maybe try practicing not telling people that you're going to murder them on a regular basis and you're a scary crocodile and they have to like be wondering all the time whether or not you're like serious about like me sitting on the couch and I'm like oh